What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and I think I'm not half bad at this game. I've had it for almost a week now, and I played a ton of ranked this weekend in a duelist, and now I have 32 ranked wins. Um, I'm actually going to be going for my 7th straight ranked win in this video. I'm now silver divisions, so that means I'm under uh, 20 for the ranking, or 30 is the worst, and then you go lower. Now it takes like three or four wins in rank to increase uh, or lower the ranking. So I'm progressing a little slower now. But I've still been playing a uh, Lion R. I believe it's the same deck. But I do think I am better now. I understand more positioning stuff. Definitely not a master yet. But I'm winning like I'd say 60 to 70 percent of my ranked uh, matches or maybe more so I don't know maybe I'm just getting lucky because the uh, it is a little strange it does match you with anybody I don't think uh, it like in scrolls it ranks you with it matches you with somebody near your rating but I believe this is just completely random so maybe I've just been getting lucky and facing people even more beginner than me so that's why I've been winning so much lately but nonetheless I'm going for my seventh straight ranked win today All right, I'll be facing Songhai, and I'd like a three drop. Actually, no, I, I'm gonna get rid of the five drop. Okay, because I can. I'm going first, so I'll have two resources, and I'll play the Blood Tear Alchemist, and then hopefully it's going to be able to survive, so I can move on top of the the mana crystal or mana spring next turn and have four resources so I can play one of these I'm going to actually get rid of the fire spitter I don't need really I don't really need two four drops another blood tear alchemist whatever and uh, I guess I'll deal one damage to his general and I get that right back and a war surge so he is Rank, I'm not sure if it's ranked or rating, whatever this number is, but he's 19, so just below me. I've been getting to know the factions a bit better, uh, so basically, I personally decide what I want to get rid of. Um, get rid of the Bloods here. You don't have to get rid of something. Uh, if you like your hand, you keep your hand, like because it's only uh, sacrificing a card and getting one card back. It's not like scrolls where you pretty much should always sacrifice. This is just if you want to. So I'll be able to play this dude, and I'm just going to deny him this mana tile. Which means if I had a one drop, I could play that. Oh, there's a one drop. So what was I saying? I know the factions a little bit better. Like Songhai, Lion, or all of them. Magmar, I know some things about them so I can play around some of their more powerful uh, spells like Magmar has a lot of frenzy so it's generally good not to keep your units nearby each other. Uh, Song has a lot of backstabbing but that's kind of hard to defend against. Alright so he's going to kill that. Do I still get... Alright so he gets healed by... it's random so unfortunately... Oh does it do both? What does happen there? You are at 21 health. Oh, so I, I got healed by 3. So when that guy deals damage that just died, uh, either I get healed by 3 or he gets damaged by 3. So I was uh, unlucky there that it healed my general when I was at full health. So now I'm going to... I could... Now I wish I had the 5 drop back. Um, I'm going to... Uh, get rid of the provoke dude. Maybe I should keep him. I want to get the range unit out. And let's go like this. So I'll put this back here. Move this up. I, I'll deal damage to this. I don't really mind. I'm using the 2-1. 
I'll give my uh, general plus one attack, and I will also play this. So I'm kind of safe. I have a lot of spells and artifact stuff in my hand. Yeah, a lot of a lot of duelist turns end up taking me the entire 90 seconds. Then as soon as this bar comes up, I'm frantically playing a bunch of stuff. I wish it was almost like it was. It's 90 seconds per turn. I wish it was like scrolls where they just showed the timer ticking down on the top. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I just like lose track of how much time I've used, and then all of a sudden the bar's coming up, and I really didn't get anything done. Okay, so that's that's probably gonna die. So unfortunately, I can't buff that up with uh, some war surges and have a nice powerful range unit. But it looks like we're in the lead against Bebelint here, because I have uh, done a little bit more damage to him. I have a unit on the field. Blood Shard Golem. Well, he doesn't have Provoke or anything. I could destroy him with Holy Immolation, and I think I'm just going to do that. Holy Immolation is a really powerful card. It's just <laughs> really good. I will get rid of one of the War Surges. Ooh, this is good too. Should I play the second sun this turn? Or the holy emulation? No, I'm just going to play the holy emulation. I think we can do fine here. So I'm going to move you down, play holy emulation on my silver guard squires. It's going to deal four damage to that and that. Um, and then I'll move down. I'm going to put another sunstone braces on you. Just going to try to end this game rather quickly. And fine, I'll deal damage like this as well. And let's see what we can get. Alright, well, he's at low enough health now that uh, I should be able to win rather soon. I like uh, Lion Art. It has a lot of ways to just deal damage to the enemy general. Like, uh, the, the Tempest deals 3 damage to it. Um, that card I just played, the Immolation, whatever. Deals four damage if you're next to it. So it's not too bad. And he's just going to surrender. So that's my seventh straight ranked win. And oh, I got a seventh one in a row. So one plus one bonus progress. So I rank up slightly faster. And now I am at rank 14. And that was pretty short. So let's see if I can find another ranked game. Uh, my deck is not as strong as some other people's decks I've seen. Like I've seen random really powerful rare cards that just kind of destroy me but having one of those holy immolations and stuff like that does help a little bit like this guy is kind of good i go first so i'm actually going to okay i guess you didn't have time to play that's the eighth straight ranked win all right we're gonna go for three wins in this video all right we're going for a Oh, is this the same guy? Did he just change factions? Is that why he, sur is that why he surrendered? Am I on the right? Or I'm on the right. It's kind of I, I'm kind of confused. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this and this. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of it all. Eh, no, because if I get a three drop, then I can. Now I'm gonna get rid of all. Come on, three drop. I do get a three drop, so I should have. Uh... Oh no, I go first. I thought I was on that side. Oh, I should have looked up here. Was this up here? Whatever. I like to wish good luck, have fun, even though I forget often. Uh, I will get rid of the Repulsor Beast. Maybe I'll regret that. And I'll play a Silver Guard Squire. It's nice having the Sun Sun Bracers because you don't really have to play them early. Uh, they cost zero, so I can just hold on to that until I need it. Uh, so he plays a Silver Guard Knight. Oh, this is actually a yeah, Silver Guard Squire. So now I kind of wish I had that, f like that flip creature, but I do have. Oh, I have this. So never mind. I can easily unprovoke this and lower its attack by two. So let's see. I will move you here. So now I have four to play with. Um, uh, the spell is really powerful against Lionar, I think. Maybe I maybe I want to keep this, but I, I really want to keep 
everything else. I should have I should have stronger drops. I'll get rid of this. Repulsor Beast. So now I'm going to move two up. I'll play the Light Bender. So now that loses its provoke and attack. Um, but I'll I'll deal damage to it anyways. I'm gonna hold off on the Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on playing the Sunstone Bracers. I wouldn't have enough to kill it. I don't want to just lower its durability of the artifacts. But this is a good artifact. Uh, it does cost four, but um, it helps me stop taking damage. I can deal some more damage. All right, so that's going to die. And now that dies too, but I'm fine with that. A four drop, three, six. End of your turn, restore this minion to full health. All right. So he's actually uh, 13 rank, so it's very slightly ahead of me. Uh, hmm. Do I do I dare go use all my artifacts this turn and <laughs> bring up to six attack just to destroy this? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm mean, actually just gonna lower my... I don't really wanna lower the durability of every single artifact, though. That's a tough choice. Um, I think I'm just going to play Purgatos. And it's hard to play around things like Holy Immolation and stuff. Whatever. I will, or I could flip that away. Yeah, let's just not deal with this. Let's move this all the way back here. And I'm just going to pressure his general. With a double, uh, double sunstone bracers. And I get a ephemeral shroud and another repulsor beast so yeah i kind of just move this over we'll take a few turns for him to join the battle again i kind of like rushing uh, my opponent just killing them as fast as possible okay oh that thing might be another repulsor beast target i kind of wanted to play uh the our clay regalia this turn but it looks like i only have five so i i guess these two are okay um or do i just want to no, i'm just gonna repulsor beast it yeah so let's move this over here wait did i already oh, i didn't replace this turn yet um, I'm going to get rid of the Purgatos, I think. Yeah, Tempest, not too bad. I could whittle him down. And I'm also going to try to get away here. I'm going to play this even though I don't really need to. I know I could use it later, but I just want to deal as much damage as I can. As fast, I probably, I probably should have played that before I flipped it so that it just loses its uh, provoke. Whatever. Um, I already sacrificed, and I'll just do more damage. I'll let this uh, squire die. And just so he knows, I should have played this first. I'll give him an oops. I have another one of those and a silver garden knight with provoke. So he's at 10 health now. I know I can lower that by three. Um, and I have these two attacking. Getting a uh, War Surge would be good because then I can make those two twos slightly stronger. If he plays a Provoke unit, I have uh, this to deal with it. Alright, so I can deal with that with um, the Ephemeral Shroud. And he's going to destroy that. Okay. Now, question is, is it possible... For me to set up a win soon. So I can deal six damage with you. So now I have six because I can play this and this. 
So that's six damage with you. You're at four, and then I can deal two more. I can do that and just hope he doesn't. Yeah, I'm, go oh, yeah, I'm going to go for the quick win. Uh, let's see. So, I guess I'll. Dispel you. Um, move you up. Or let's uh. Let's see what we can get. I should really do the sacrificing thing earlier. And I will attack. And attack. And this will actually make the all of durability stay because I won't take any damage because of that uh because of this artifact prevents two of the damage from capping to me. So he's at two uh, health now on his general. So unless he can heal it by at least two this turn, not sure what Lionar has to heal. All I have is that Purgatos four drop that can heal the general. Um, I will be able to win the game with a Tempest this turn. And I have 20 life, so I'm really in a good spot here. So it looks like we might have, we might get three, uh, three ranked wins in this video when it's actually pretty short <laughs> shorter than the last one last one we got two ranked wins um, and that would increase our winning streak to nine but I've heard some people get crazy winning streaks in this game so there goes two of my sunstone bracers and there's that all right, this guy, this Jax True Sight, he's pretty good. I use him a lot. Put him down, then play a couple of war searches, and you have a bunch of a bunch of uh, pretty strong ranged units all across the board. But then your opponent plays Tempest, and then you cry. All right, so it looks like now he fills up the board here. But let's see if I have a cooler way to win. Nope, but well played, sir. GG. So, does an Aqua pass level 11? I guess if I play other factions, I can earn more cards for those factions, but I don't really mind uh, because there is going to be a a reset, a wipe. Oh, I gained plus one because nine wins in a row now, so now I'm ranked 13. Um, and I have enough gold for a pack, so I'll go ahead and buy one here. Yeah, so there's going to be a wipe. And. That's going to lose all the cards and I guess the ranking too, so I'm just really practicing becoming a better player right now. Another Purgatos, I might add that to the deck. Uh, what's this? Some two copies. Oh, I've seen people play this. That's pretty good. You just get a bunch of creatures. Pretty good with War Surge. Um, that's Vanar, Songhai, and Magmar. Okay, so I think I'm going to add both of these to the deck. And this video is under 20 minutes, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. Wish there was a way to just take away all this, all these uh, numbers that show if you have a new card easier than mousing over the new card. Um, because I hate seeing that little number up there, so I have to find it and mouse over it every single time. <laughs> Where's the last one? Nope. There we go. So, squad. Alright, we're gonna go to Lionar and. Where is it? I got this guy. I'm not going to put him in the deck, though. I mean, he's probably okay, but I have a pretty packed deck, I think. Hmm. Where is it? Was, is he not a Linar? Is it neutral? I think that 4-drop Purgatos is neutral, actually. This guy I could put in the deck. I've seen people use him. I don't know. I've been more aggressive in my games. Just dealing damage than finishing off with a Tempest. So, healing my general doesn't really do a whole lot. Here, Purgatos. So... Do I want to add more of him? How many do I have of him? <laughs> Where is he? Four, 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 four. I have one. Hmm. But I feel like the deck has been working really well, so I don't want to change too much. I have a lot of one ofs. Because I don't really have a lot of cards. No, I'm going to hold off on putting him in. And then what was the other card? Uh, a five drop. This. The Yeah, I want to put this guy in. Getting a... Uh, 
three of those for five I think is pretty good. So I'll take out second sun five drop. I probably should have another five drop in the deck anyways. I only have I only have two right now. Or three actually. Eh. Actually let's uh what do I not usually play? Sun Bloom is really good. I meet, I usually play that to take care of a Mechazor in the corner. And the opponent just like, oh, he actually had a, something to deal with that. I think I might get rid of Silver Guard Squire. Yeah, let's get rid of one of those. Maybe that's a mistake. But one drops aren't a huge deal because you start with two resources anyways. So let's add that and save the deck. So cool, my squad is updated. And that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time.